How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ozzy. I'm here and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into week three of the UBA. We're going to be taking on Game Reviews, aka Max. Uh, check out his link in the description. Go subscribe to him. Go check out all the good content he's got going on alongside all the other coaches in the league. They are also in the description. Go subscribe to all of them. They are all fantastic people, so you should definitely go check them out. <laughs> Today, though, we're going to be taking on the Detroit Power, and I'm quite nervous. His team is, um, Max is just a very, every battle against him is chaos. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of chaos. It's a lot of craziness. It's never the same battle one week to the next. I really, it's really not, honestly, so it's hard to predict him. Um, he, he has his tendencies, but you know, you, you don't know when certain things are coming, and it's just like, it's wild. Uh, every battle against him is just wild. There, that's the best word I can use to describe it. It's just wild to battle Max every single time. Uh, so I'm equal parts nervous and excited for this match because it's always a banger against him. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's just let's just get right into it. I'm going to link up with Max and we get the code and then I'll see you guys when we're uh, connected. All right. We are here. Linked up with Max. Ooh, yeah. I'm curious what team he's going to bring. I have an idea of who he's going to bring. I have an idea what it's going to bring. He picked the right rules. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and bring this team. Grimmsnarl, Sogaleo, Reshiram, Gliscor, Venusaur, and Cleavor. A lot of ores. <laughs> AI Professor theme, of course. That banger of a theme. So he brought... Yeah. <laughs> I think Skeldurge might be the only one I'm, like, a little surprised by, but not really. Um... Honestly, yeah, Skelders is maybe the only one I'm surprised by. Uh, but even then, like, I, I, his team was fairly, like, fairly balanced across the board. I could say for mine as well. I think we're pretty balanced, like, evenly matching each other. Uh, his team, I think, is just a little bit more scary than mine. <laughs> but that Whimsicott's going to be annoying. Um, Quackable and Skelders are obviously annoying. Torterra, the Shell Smash, all that fun stuff. I saw this leaf coming. <laughs> I really did. Which is why we have a little something, something for it. Can we take an Aqua Step is the question. We should be able to. Yes. And we one shot. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. <laughs> That's exactly what I, that's literally all I wanted Cleavor to do. I mean, if we can get up the Stone Axe, awesome, but that is literally exactly what I wanted Cleavor to do. So we're not getting swept. <laughs> we're not getting swept, which is a good sign. I could do this. We'll do this. Why not? If he chooses to try and kill me, that works in our favor. If he wants to set up, we'll lunge. Precipice Blades. Okay. So Groudon kills Cleavor. I'm going to send him Venusaur and he's going to switch. <laughs> if he doesn't, I mean, I'll be surprised. But we're going to have the, uh, the whatchamacallit set up. Chlorophyll. I could try to overpredict and go for an Earth Power. No, because if he goes to Rotom. Could over predict and go for a sludge bomb, but we're just gonna solo beam. Not gonna overthink it. He's gonna Terra. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Terra fire. I like. I like. I like. I like. I like. Terra blast is gonna freaking hurt. We're gonna outspeed him. Can we take one hit? That is the question. Oh, I was like, we missed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I really thought we missed our ticket there. Fire punches. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. And it does kill. Okay. I like that play. I do. Groudon kills Venusaur. Um, hold on. Sorry. I got to cross off a couple Pokemon. Okay. I do like that play. He'll probably be expecting Earth Power. I could just go in and Parting Shot. I could go in and Parting Shot. 
Ooh, do I want to do that though? We'll just do this. We'll just do this. An EQ is gonna hurt. I have a hard. I have a feeling he's gonna hard switch out to Rotom. We could do this and get the free hit off. I get the free stealth rocks up. I don't chance it. I don't chance it. Yeah, I don't chance it. He's gonna go to he's gonna go to Rotom. Ah, I should have just done it. I should have just done it. It's fine. I actually did a little more than I thought I would. Not gonna lie. We're gonna do this. Reflect, maybe? A screen? A screen, possibly. Do, does Doth Doth does, does Doth have the screeneth? Dosseth. Thou is to have a screeneth. No, I don't want to get Thunderwave. We're acrobatics. I feel like we're going to kill it before it kills us. And I'm honestly okay with getting rid of Rotom. As annoying as it is, the hard sunlight faded. Okay. I have an idea of what we're going to do here. The question is, can we take another Hex? I feel like we can. I want to do this. If he kills us, it'll be fine. If he kills us, it'll be fine. Kind of. We live. Okay. We're going to acro. So he loses his levitate counter, which is good. We're about to lose Glide Score, though, which is not good. I love this theme. <laughs> if that wasn't clear last week, I love this theme. Mmm. Good old Whimsy, Whimsy. Good old Whimsy, Mimsy. Problem is, I could send in Gla uh, Grimstar, but we don't really have anything for this thing. I took a risk. Took a risk. Because I have a feeling it's going to charm. Rawr. Protect. Which is fine with me. Um. I kind of want to do this. No, I can't. I can't. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... I think just do this. Because... I'm kind of fine with letting Glasgow go this early. Ah, that wasn't a good play. That wasn't a good play. That was not a good play. It was a good play, actually. Now that I think about it. Tailwind Peter out. That's fine. It's gonna do something to me. It's gonna use charm or something. No, oh, wait, it didn't kill Sogaleo, it killed the score. I'm writing the wrong notes. <laughs> um It's annoying because we just don't have anything for this thing. Tailwind, okay. That was a crit. That crit might be a big deal, I'm not gonna lie. 
that crit might be a big deal. I'm gonna psychic things. It'd be, it wouldn't behoove him to save the Whimsicott, yeah. I was gonna, see, well, I just said. It wouldn't behoove him. Skeleturge. <laughs> I love its freaking cry. That did not do Jack the Lee Squad. That didn't do anything. Holy. Um. Is this what he wants, though? Because it's going to torch song. I mean. <laughs> Gonna torch song. Tailwind is still up. Crap. The tailwind is still up. Crap. Will o wisp. Cool. That's a free turn for us. Burns the tailwind a little bit longer. One turn left. I mean, Torterra kind of likes Earth Power, I guess. Slack off. <laughs> okay, Max. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. That crit definitely was a big deal there. And the Tailwind petered out. Um... Ooh, don't want to do that, just in case he goes to Whimsicott, if he chooses to save this thing. Do I even want to reveal anything else? Not really. We'll just kill this thing. He goes back and sets up the Tailwind, probably. I would guess. Yeah. Ooh, those stones. If only the thing was low health. Um, just in case he chooses to go to Grout on a... Nah, we'll just Fusion Flare. Don't even overthink it. Reshi's gonna kill this thing. Kills one. The good part is, is with his, uh... Nice. With his, uh, Groudon being fire, it's gonna take extra damage from the, uh, the stones. And we still have Grimstar in our back pocket as a good pivot. We still have Sogolay in our back pocket as full health. We get rid of his, uh, whatchamacallit. Oof. Does he use a ground type move? There's a reason why I brought this. <laughs> I feel like he uses a ground type move. Did he overpredict? Is the question now. I don't think this thing kills us with a fire punch. It'd be really close. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Yep. That's why you're about to air flying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Crowd on. I think we got this. I mean, Torterra's the problem. If he shell smashes, that's a problem. But he has to waste a turn to Shell Smash, and the sun's still up. He can't hit us. He can't hit us with a uh, ground type move either. Drop boosted fusion flare. This thing's gonna die. <laughs> Drop boosted fusion flare. It's minus one. I mean, that's really all he can do. I respect this. That's really all he can do. <laughs> I respect it. I really do. But I, I think this thing dies. Drought boosted. Yeah. Reshiram for the win! Whew! I'm so glad we got to show off both of our legends in back-to-back -back weeks. We got a huge win over Max. We just had to work our pivots. That was really it. We had to work around some of his Pokemon. Um, that beginning worked out literally exactly how I wanted it to go. I wanted his Quackle Wall. I wanted his Quackle Wall to start. Because the only thing that would have killed Cleaver there, there was a crit. A crit Aqua Seb would have killed, as you guys saw. Um, GG's Max. Man, what a battle. Whew, oh my god, what a battle. I am shaking. I was terrified of this freaking thing, of his team. 
freaking terrified. Um, flying Reshiram for the win. Reshiram, we might have back-to-back -back weeks, but last week Solgaleo was the MVP. This week Reshiram has a really good shot of getting it as well. Oh my god. <laughs> needed that win too, man. Needed that win too. Just, just confirmation, just cherry on top. Um, holy bejeebers. <laughs> what a win that was. So, that is a 6-3 victory over Max. Next week, we're going to be taking on, I believe, yeah, we're going to take on Pidge and the Welsh Dredigans, which I don't know the results of this week. Um, he could he could be 3-0 by the time we get there, so it'll be a very tough matchup for us. His team is quite, uh, it's quite tough. It's a quite tough team to break. Um, but I, I'm confident we're figuring out our team on a, another level right now. I'm here. I'm just like in the metaverse, just <laughs> seeing my team in the future winning, um, against Pidge. Probably. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not that confident, <laughs> but yeah, GG's Max again, go check him out in the description down below. Go subscribe to him. And again, check out all the other coaches down below as well. Check us next week as we enter week four of the UBA to take on Poke Pidge and the Welsh Dredikins. Dred Dredikins, I said that word, Dredikins. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video and if you're here, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out the socials in the description. Um, follow and subscribe is necessary. It's all greatly appreciated. And of course, be sure to share your socials with your friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know on here is where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.